I was an athlete, and I still consider myself an athlete, um, maybe a master's athlete, one might say, but uh, uh, I think it really helps to understand um, what an athlete is going through, the, the challenges they face, um, what it takes to get back on the field, at the same time understanding you're trying to make the best decision for yourself in the long term and not be influenced by, you know, what you want to do in the short term, but that may not be best for your health in the long term. So I think I understand all of that, and I, and I think that helps me relate to athletes and families in a good way. Athlete is a very broad term. Everybody's an athlete, right? Everybody um, has an activity to keep them physically active and exercise and that they want to get back doing. So it doesn't necessarily just mean the Division One college hockey player who also is playing for the USA national team. I'm very privileged to take care of those kind of athletes, but I also really enjoy taking care of our athletes in the community, people who are doing all different kinds of you know, physical activity and exercise, and those things are really important to them. And so it's not any less important to me to get them back to whatever activity it is that's meaningful to them. Everything that we do in clinical practice informs you know, our teaching of future medical providers, and it also informs you know, the research questions that or gaps that we know that we need to answer. So I really feel like all of those things are integrated and I'm a better researcher because I'm a clinician and I'm a better clinician because I'm a researcher. And a lot of what I see in my clinical practice you know, drives what we feel like uh, we need to address from a research standpoint.